areas of uh, many, many countries have been deforested. We have a situation of growing population at a time of changing climate, a time when land is degrading, forests are disappearing rapidly. If you, if you are here 10 or 15 years ago, there was nothing here. You could see somebody who comes from the farthest Manyata to the other end. In Kenya, farmer managed natural regeneration is a remedy to climate change and creating resilience of marginalized communities in the assals. We don't have time and we certainly don't have the money, millions of dollars that it would cost to have large-scale tree planting schemes. <coughs> After you cut the tree down, the tree's not dead. It still has the ability to re-sprout, to send up new shoots. But what's happening is because of constant grazing, constant pressure from animals, and people have desperate need for fuel wood, they're always cutting those small branches as they come up, that tree stump never has the opportunity to grow into a full tree. And FMNR, all it is, is the, the systematic selection and management of some of those shoots coming up. We're going to thin, so we'll reduce the competition, reduce the number of shoots, so that the best ones, the strongest ones, the tallest ones have a very good chance to grow quickly. And then we, we manage the constraints. Over 240 members in Marsabit County are engaging in farmer-managed natural regeneration activities at community level, supported by World Vision through the IMARA program. The pastoralist groups have adopted the FMNR concept to help as part of IMARA's regreening initiatives. We work with environmental management committees, which are in every location. We work with the uh, mother-to-mother -mother support groups, we work with youth groups, and we work with uh, even women groups, self-help groups. And basically, when we practice FMNR in this community, we are targeting the indigenous species, which have high value to the, the community members in terms of their livelihood. The pastoral community groups have created FMNR demonstration sites that are protected in efforts to nurture young trees and stumps. <laughs> kutoka kwa ukiangalia saa hii hii mali wameanzisha ni kama ekari tano kwa sababu ni mpaka huko chini na mahali yote ambao tutapata shooting ya hii ya kesha tunajaribu ku protect through integration of World Vision programs, Irene Lepatoi from Ngurnit Ward is a beneficiary of FMNR her homestead is a model farm that the community groups in Marsabit are learning from. Bada ya kufanya FMNR sasa. Sasa tukwana changes kwa compound, likuwa msuri, alafu hiyo ni ni greens na mea, hiyo grass. Kuna fitumiga basi tuku kwa nakula, kwa mua tuku fuga kuku, saba tegi kuna faida kuitu kama familia. When these trees get pods, you know pods from these trees are very nutritious for livestock. That is number one. Firewood is also another big issue in core. If they, they are able to conserve what is close to their homestead, then of course they will get that, that, uh, that resource. The, the trees, whether you plant them or do FMNR, they create favorable microclimate for growing high value crops. But then it even gets better than that because now you have somewhere to put beehives and many tree species are, are flowering and they provide the food that the bees need to make honey.